Good morning, YouTube. This is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta, South Carolina. Well, I got the flu. I was scheduled to get a shot on the 18th, but today's Friday the 13th, and Wednesday I come down with the flu. Oh, I'll tell you, it's unmeasurable. But anyway, I'm trying to get a review out. So I'll give you a little taste of the Sightmark Wraith Mini Thermal. This is a great um, piece of equipment uh, for people who like to uh, hunt. Um, a thermal could be used during the day or at night. It don't have to be at night. Uh, you can use it during the day and you can look through camouflage and see what's behind that camouflage because of the thermal image. Um, I've seen deer during the daytime laying down in the field where I couldn't detect them with my naked eye but I could detect them with the thermal so that's pretty cool anyway well, let's, uh, the folks in uh, Mansfield, Texas they're at uh, Cellmark Corporation that's uh, the uh, parent company, the site mark. Uh, James Sellers, you hit a home run with this one, buddy. I'm telling you what. It, it gives that uh, um, pulsar tailing on uh, run for its money. Truly does. But uh, here it is. It's on the rifle. It's on the 5.56. Five, I'm shooting a uh, front uh, frontier ammo, 5.56, 68 grain boat tail hollow point. Uh, the uh, external battery is a real plus for this. You just plug it in, go for it. You can put a, up to a 256 uh, card in this uh, scope, so that's pretty cool too. Anyway, this is it. This is the Sightmark Wraith Thermal. And this is my 5.56 five, caliber um, AR-15 you know, side charging by Bear Creek Arsenal. It's the Palmetto State Army lower with a Bear Creek upper. This is the Frontier I'm always talking about. This is the Bowtail Hollow Point. Sixty-eight grain. Really puts the hogs down. Anyway, I uh, did some video and I did walk the fields with it twice and um, I captured some video of deer. Uh, we had a big kill there. So there's not uh, not a lot of pig traffic right now, but they'll come back eventually. They don't. I don't think they have a long-term memory. I think they have a very short-term memory, and it goes away after a while. And they'll come back, and they'll start rooting again. And, but uh, it was a high-traffic area. <laughs> we, we annihilated them. But it was before the scope came in, then I came down with the flu, so not much I can do. I can get out and and uh, put the scope to its paces, though. And uh, There's other places to hunt from uh, tree stands and stuff like that. So we're going to do something with that and uh, post a video. But I... Uh, really like the uh, the scope not bad for uh, two grand you know pretty decent scope I wouldn't say it's low budget but it's 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 an affordable thing 
and um, a good investment. Like I said, I have a Pulsar Talion and um, I have an um, ATN Thor 160 LTV. It's a pretty nice scope too. I, I think that was like close to $900, a little more than $900. Um, but it don't do near the things, it don't have near the features this does. This has uh, the, give you the rundown on the scope. It's a 2 to 16 by 35 thermal rifle scope. You got five color palettes, nine reticle colors, ten reticles, five weapons profiles, and a built in recording with sound. A micro SD card does not come with it, so you have to put your own SD card, but it can hold up to 256 uh, meg card. So I'll tell you what, <laughs> that's a lot of recording. Uh, most of them are just 32 or 64. But 256, man, that, that, that's, that's it maxed out. I mean, that's a lot of videos. Anyway, this is Rick Black Rifle. Down with the flu in South Carolina. Um, so, enjoy this video um, of the uh, I walk the fields. There was uh, virtually uh, no hogs, just deer. Anyway. Bye-bye. Hey, James. Rick Bernardi here. There's some deer out there in the field. We took 63 hogs out of this field. So I don't know how many more are left. There's probably a few. I don't know what that is. I think that's a deer down there, too, laying down. There were like 200 hogs in this field one night, come in here, turned on the thermal, and couldn't believe it. I'm going to check my contrast. Yearling laying down in the field right there. The doe's probably put her there. Those are all deer. No hogs tonight. It's kind of cool tonight too. Figured it being cool, they'd be out rooting. But the deer herd is unreal here in South Carolina. See those little spots right there where I've come across there? Those are deer, yearlings laying in the laying down out of the wind. Two deer laying there. Two there.
that may be a pig. the deer. Inquisitive doe. And she just blew at me. James, this is a really nice thermal sight. In fact, I like this a little better than the Pulsar. I, um, I like the fact that the menu is just like the uh, 4K Mini. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a wonderful piece of equipment. I like it.